Hey guys, it's Ari from Literary Gladiators, and today I'm bringing up some unfortunate news that I've heard, uh, is that the author of The Phantom Toll Booth, which is my favorite book of all time, uh, Norton Jester, you know, the brilliant architect, not only of buildings, but also of children's dreams and memories, has passed away today, um, March 9th. 2021 at the age of 91. Um, it, it's, a, it's a tough loss, uh, I think, for the literature community because we talk about how, you know, revolutionary uh, people in the literature community who, you know, make a lot of, you know, big deals and stuff. And Norton Jester wasn't really an author. He was more of an architect. But so to write something the way he did with Phantom Tobooth is absolutely amazing. And I think that he deserves a lot more credit than he was actually given for that book. You know, to be able to teach kids the ideas of idioms and the ideas of sarcasm and the ideas of play on words and puns and all kinds of other amazing things, it was ahead of its time back in the 60s. It's still possibly ahead of its time now. And it was the ultimate kid's book, and it certainly was one that I felt was... Um, amazing it had a lot of good examples in it with milo and talk and the humbug and all the locations dictionopolis digitopolis and um you know alec bings who can see through things and dr cacophonous a discord doctor of dissonance and of course rhyme and reason in the castle in the air and king azaz and the mathematician so i mean it taught kids things while at the same time opening kids minds to things that are more interesting definitely a book of open-minded proportions um but to see norton juster pass away today um is very difficult it's tragic it's sad um but at the age of 91 he lived a full life he also wrote a couple other books including the dot in the line which is a good another good kids book and, you know, he lived his life to the fullest, just the way that we hope, after the end of the book, that Milo was able to. And, you know, in a way, I feel that, you know, Norton Jester did exactly what he wanted to do. And he's hopefully going, you know, to his grave, realizing that he has helped so many thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of kids learn in a way that school can never quite offer and that certain programs can never quite offer in a very unique and special way. And I hope he realized, you know, that he was one of the most revolutionary authors of all time, despite not quite being an official author as a, as a proper job. So I just wanted to say rest in peace, Norton Juster. And, uh, I'm sending my condolences out to the entire, you know, Jester family and all the people he knew well. And, um, please, if you haven't already, definitely check out the Phantom Tollbooth book. Um, and I just wanted to say, um, rest in peace, Norton. You've done so much for us. I appreciate everything you've done. Thank you for being a wonderful part of my childhood, my adulthood, and I'm sure everyone else's childhood as well. Thank you.